This shit is racist. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 18th episode of the show, Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 173rd episode overall titled Inner Spirit. We start this episode in a flashback, seeing Tommy's Zeo quest again. Remember that thing? Where he got the half of an arrowhead? Tommy's actually dreaming about this and then suddenly he's fighting in the Megazord and he's failing hardcore. He wakes up from the nightmare thinking that if someone could figure this out, it's Zordon. Tommy goes to the power chamber and he wakes up Alpha who is just wearing a damn nightcap because he's the absolute best. He wakes him up and Alpha freaks out and then Tommy asks before Alpha to check the Zeozords and they're totally fine and Tommy explains about his dream. Then the power fluxes but then it just comes back and now uh, there's a Native American art exhibit at the youth center and it's coming off as like super racist. Rocky, Tony, and Adam are there concerned about everything that's going on. Then Stone shows up giving Bulk and Skull raffle tickets to sell, telling them that if they sell the most, they get to go to Hawaii. Mr. Kaplan then shows up, who's nice to see, and he says he already bought his tickets from a guy named Delmar. Then they ask Tanya, Rocky, and Adam if they need tickets, and they say they already bought their tickets from someone named Delmar too. Then a power surge happens at the youth center. Ernie runs off to check it out. Then Tommy arrives at the place, and as he's coming in, he runs into the curator of this entire exhibit, Sam Trueheart, and he's rushing out to get something for the exhibit and Tommy just gives him a ride. Tommy says that he looks super familiar because he's an idiot. Sam then notices Tommy's half of an arrowhead, and Tommy says that he wishes that he could find the other half of it. And Sam says, well, this is my stop, stopping in the middle of the freaking desert. Why would Tommy just drive there? <laughs> he gets out and before Tommy drives away, Sam tells Tommy that this is an excellent place to find arrowheads. Then Sam just dissolves, and of course, Tommy was super late on the information, turning around to look at Sam who was gone. Like there's like way too many seconds there for Tommy to be like, arrowheads, wait. <laughs> In space, Machina plans to send down a new monster, the main drain. He's been siphoning the power from the Angel Grove power plant. Also, Bulk and Skull are hanging out by a playground full of children so they can sell them raffle tickets because, oh my God, this is creepy. They then fantasize about being in Hawaii before they approach a kid. And she says that she already got hers from Delmar. Then they envision Delmar stealing their trip to Hawaii. They then see some other kids and Bulk says, hey, you kids ever heard of Delmar? In like the creepiest way ever. They try to sell them tickets, but obviously these kids just scream and run away, but it's actually because Main Drain is there. All the Rangers are at the exhibit and Tommy is explaining how Sam just disappeared and Tanya says, that's super weird. <laughs> Kat tells him that if Tommy really wants answers, he should try to find this guy. Uh, that's kind of the point. Then the power goes out as Bulk and Skull come screaming in. The teens step away calling Zordon who updates them on the situation with Main Drain, who is now at the power plant. It's morphin' time. Five rangers arrive, but Clink and Orbis are already there, and they just make Main Drain grow giant immediately because God forbid we have a ground level fight before we end up getting back to King Tommy. They call out their Zeozords forming the Zeo Megazord. Main Drain then sprouts some spikes out of him, and Tanya sits front and center, putting on her battle helmet. They get hit, and Tommy just gets back in control, taking out the Zeo Power Sword, which has definitely been called the Saber thus far. Then they're starting to win, and Mondo is there waving a white flag. This distracts the rangers long enough for them to get hit by a long tube from Main Drain, who is draining all the power out of the Megazord. There are a ton of explosions as this happens, and honestly, it looks bad. Then they step back and Mondo says, where did they go? Do we not get like a teleportation effect or something? The rangers are in the power chamber and Alpha says that it's going to take a few days to repair everything. Unfortunately, they don't have time for this. Billy says that there may be a way for them to win and he reveals the red battle zord. A zord meant just for Tommy. He's reconfigured Tommy's Zeonizer Crystal to handle this, and essentially, it's Aquatar tech, so he's gonna need to control it with his mind, totally at peace. Which actually makes sense because they controlled their own Zords telepathically. The Rangers decide to split up, and they say that the others will take the Megazord, and Tommy will take the Red Battle Zord, finishing him off. Tommy gets in, and yeah, he's way out of control, destroying everything as he goes, and then he just falls off of a cliff, getting buried. Main Jane tries to finish off Tommy, but the others are there on a hill, firing at him. Then he picks them up, tossing them around. Everything shakes and apparently Tommy's getting things back online somehow. He restarts the red battle zord, getting out of the rubble, standing tall. Now Tommy has relatively better control of the thing, except no, he doesn't. The zord is going nuts, freaking the hell out. The power is siphoned by Main Drain again, and then suddenly a vision of Sam Trueheart shows up in front of Tommy, and he learns that he needs to just relax and make the zord be an extension of himself. Is that not what Billy already told him? And also, this is getting bizarre. That's all Tommy needs though to get back in control of the Zord and he starts just beating the absolute crap out of Main Drain and even when he gets hit, it's not really affecting him that much. Then he opens fire on the monster, killing him. Mondo's pretty clearly mad about this, but he believes that this is just a minor setback for now. 
at the power chamber, Zordon explains that the Red Battle Zord is their only line of defense right now. And basically, Tommy needs to just get his head on straight if they're actually going to win. Tommy says that he knows what he has to do. At the youth center, Bulk and Skull meet Delmar, yelling at him and threatening him for beating them with the raffle tickets. Stone shows up explaining that Delmar is actually the son of the police chief. Then Delmar sells them 50 tickets each and he puts on a lay, walking away like a dweeb. Tommy drives back out to the desert looking for Sam Trueheart like he's just been sitting there the entire time. He parks the car, getting out, and then... A man on a horse just appears out of nowhere and Tommy looks super confused. The end. I mean, this episode isn't the worst to be honest, but it definitely made me feel really uncomfortable more than once. I mean, they're really playing into those Native American stereotypes about the mythicism around them and it's super awkward. Also, I just realized that they made the Native American guy the Red Ranger. Well, you guys did better for a bit there, I guess. Other than that, I actually like the setup with the Red Battlezord and how it has to be controlled by Tommy's mind because it's just something that Billy learned on Aquatar. I think it's a nice little callback to a few episodes ago, and really this is continuing to show that the writers don't care about what the Japanese footage is saying. They'll do what they want and make it work as they need to. Also, who the hell was that dude at the end? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you. Yeah.